Between the years 2018 through 2022, these six individuals were murdered in Bakersfield. Their cases are currently unsolved. Investigators believe that there are people in our community that know what happened, and with their help, justice can be obtained for the victims. What these senseless tragedies have in common is they are believed to be gang-related. We start with the homicide from 2022. Jarvis Keith Naff Jr. Well, that phone call, April 17, 2022, on Easter Sunday night, I got a phone call that he had been shot. And when I got there, um, there was an officer um, doing CPR on him. And I ran up and I screamed his name and he didn't move, so I knew that he was gone. Um, worst day of my life. Worst day of my life. Naff was leaving a party when he was approached by multiple black men believed to have arrived at the scene in different cars. Before that night in April, though, Naff's mother says he was cleaning up his act and becoming an exceptional father for his son to look up to. He was the model child, quite literally, always asking his mom to take candid pictures of him. Jarvis was a great kid to me, and um, he um, got into some trouble in his younger days, he went and did what he had to do. He changed his life. He had a son. He bought a house and he worked every day. Investigators say the suspects were driving separate cars. It is believed that once Naff was shot on Avila Street, suspects fled by car westbound on Giovanetti Avenue. They need to pay for what they've done. Now in 2021, it was May 21st, just after 10 in the evening. Amaya Alexander, a lovely, bright, caring, and vibrant 12-year-old, was sitting outside her home on L Street in Bakersfield listening to some music, which was probably R&B or the popular boy band, BTS, her favorites. Witnesses in the area say two black men that appear to be in their 20s shot and killed Amaya. Evidence from the scene confirms that two guns were used. Her mom says she was very close with her family and looked after her younger siblings since she was the oldest. She had dreams of becoming a veterinarian because of her love for animals. She was outgoing, making friends very easily, and Amaya was the life of every family party before her life was taken away. Her mom says Amaya was just a young African-American girl who was living a carefree life as any child should, and if she knew who killed her daughter, she could begin the healing process and rest assured that the suspect was being held accountable. In this case, current secret witness is offering a reward of $5,000 for information leading up to the arrest of suspects responsible. A year prior to the murder of Amaya was the homicide of Luis Castillo Jr., a 15-year-old who was out riding his bike in the 700 block of East 11th Street. It was October 12, 2020, when officers responded to a shot spotter activation. Luis was already in the roadway after being shot multiple times. Right now, there is no suspect information. The next case that happened in 2019 was a couple that was murdered in the summer on July 24th. They were still in the car, just driving home. Tony Ray Charles Jr. was 45 at the time. His mom remembers him as lovable and a family protector. He had a good heart. He was a fun little boy. He grew up, he went to school and stuff, and grew on up and started having a family. He left behind three daughters and three boys. He was also a grandfather. His big family misses him and speaks of his memory daily, along with the memory of 30-year-old Destiny Nicole Freeman, who was also shot and killed while in the car with Charles. She was just getting off of work for the evening. I miss both of them, Destiny and him, a lot. And my heart is really sad. I just... Wake up, pray, wake up the next morning and just deal with life. Freeman's sister said she was also a part of a big family. If I needed anything, if any of my siblings needed anything, we could call on her. She was the oldest of eight, well, she was the second oldest of eight kids. And she was basically a mom figure after my mom passed away. So it, it hurt like dang near our whole family. In addition, she was a mother figure to her boyfriend's kids. They had been together for nearly a decade. It was very unexpected, especially 
it, when they said that it was destiny, I was just like, no, she's, how could it be her? <laughs> it's just, she wasn't into like none of that type of stuff. So especially her dying because of, at the hands of someone else and like how many times she got shot, it, it, I just couldn't comprehend it. I still can't comprehend it to this day. At the crime scene, it was apparent that multiple rounds were fired at the couple. The shooter, a black male, fled on foot. And to a homicide that happened nearly six years ago, Jeremy Charles Littlejohn was a 20-year-old at a party when he was shot multiple times by several suspects. His mom, Jennifer Bagsby, says he was incredibly smart, graduating at the top of his class, and dependable for the entire family before the night his life ended. He had accomplished a lot of things, you know, his short time. He graduated early, he went to college, he had started working, and he was recently babysitting his nephew. Investigators believe there is key evidence that was dropped at the scene by the three shooters. There were also cameras in the area with footage obtained by investigators. You know, the person that done it get off the street, it would help, but it's still going to hurt because he's gone at a young age. Nothing could change the fact that it, he's gone. Two of the three suspects are described as one black man and one light-complected man. It affected her health, her job, everything. These six victims all have a few things in common. Their homicides are believed to be gang-related. These victims were normal people going about their lives. These cases are unsolved. And families' lives have been forever changed by the loss of these loved ones. If you have any information regarding these investigations or the identity of any of the unknown suspects, contact Detective Frank McIntyre at 661-326-3921. The Bakersfield Police Department at 661-327-7111 or Kern Secret Witness at 661-322-4040.